those creations from uh, theory into an actual physical product. So I I ended up making a skateboard. I used to go there all the time and play World of Warcraft, and I met a great group of friends. Hi everyone, it's Paulie here again for another interview with a gamer. Today I'm interviewing someone quite special. He's a freelance Photoshop artist. He's also an amazing gamer and a YouTube creator. Daniel Offen has been a friend of mine for a couple of years. Welcome Daniel. There you go. So firstly, when did you first get into gaming and, and what was your first vivid gaming experience? Well, I've been gaming pretty much all my life because uh, sort of games are always been a part of it. Um, my first vivid uh, gaming experience was probably when I was very young and my, my dad brought home a, one of the old school Sagas. So um, that's probably when I first got into gaming. And do you recall the first games that you played on it? Yes, actually I do. Uh, it was Echo the Dolphin and Sonic. Both classics, both classic games. Now, when did you start getting interested in Photoshop and, uh, and, and start becoming a freelance Photoshop artist? Well, it's uh, probably about four, four or so years ago now. Um, I got into it because I've always liked drawing and I've always been artistic and creative. So uh, when I found the software that gave me the opportunity to express that creativity, I, I jumped on it and uh, yeah, started creating things that I wanted to create and enjoyed what I created. So that's how I first started. How did you first start to learn how to use Photoshop? Were you taught? Um, give us an idea of how you learned. Uh, well, basically a lot of trial and error, to be honest. So I just jumped on there and started with lots of basic things. And uh, it did take a while to get the hang of things. But, you know, over time I, I picked up little bits and pieces and uh, slowly improved my, my designs. I also have a design I'd like to show you. It's uh, been been a while in the making and uh, I used to just do a lot of digital edits and uh, things to view online. But uh, at the end of last year, I sort of decided that I wanted to turn one of those creations from uh, theory into an actual physical product. So. I, I ended up making a skateboard Wow. Design, designed and edited by myself and I got in touch with a company to help me put my creation into a physical form. So I'm, I'm very happy with where my, my design editing has taken me. Do you have any advice for anyone that's interested in, to get, do you have any advice for anyone that's interested in getting started in Photoshop? Yeah, like, if you have a passion for art and creativity, and it's something you enjoy doing, um, then then you'll improve a lot more. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, then you, obviously you're not going to excel or do as well as what you could do if you really enjoyed what you were doing. So if it's something you're passionate about, I think just jump on there and play around with it and just be creative. So recently, your YouTube channel topped 100,000 views. Congratulations. Now, your YouTube channel has been up for about four years, but you've been solid, solidly tubing, video editing, and, and creating for about two. Tell us about your experience. Uh, well, first of all, um, it all started when I was looking up a guide to help me finish this mission on a game I was playing at the time. And uh, I couldn't find a guide or a video on how to finish the mission. So I thought, well, it, it took me a few days, but I figured it out. And then I thought, well, if no one's made the video, I may as well make the video to help other people out. So I ended up editing a video, which did very well. And ever since then, I thought, well, while I'm playing games, I may as well record what I'm doing. And... If, if I think it's going to be good content, I'll, I'll edit the video and put it up there for everyone else. So that's, that's where it all started. And um, so it's basically how I started with my Photoshop, just 
something I'm passionate about, and um, it also helps out other people, and and, and it, that makes me feel good about myself. So, so yeah, I'm quite happy with uh, where it's where it's gone. So you're not just entertaining, but you're also informing and helping other gamers accomplish games. Exactly, sharing the information whilst doing something that I'm passionate about. No, that's a great combination. What can you tell me about your time at 4Play Games? 4Play Games, eh? Yes, um, well, I used to love that place and I, I used to go there literally every chance I got. Um, so basically, I used to go there all the time and play World of Warcraft and I met a great group of friends there and uh, yeah, I, I still have those memories. Tell us just about some of the videos on your YouTube channel. Well, some of the videos include just uh, like let's play series, game guides, like how to's, or like character builds, um, deck builds, or just like everyday gaming things that interest me and... Excellent. So you cover a wide series of games. Wow. I do, yeah. Okay, listen, thank you so much for spending this time with us, Daniel. I really appreciate it. You've really given us an insight to the life of a gamer and an artist. Uh, once again, we encourage everyone to go check out the links in the description section. You can check out Dan there. Don't forget to follow him online. Check him out on Facebook, Instagram. Check out his YouTube. Like and subscribe as many of his videos. Once again, thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me.